Hallelujah. All glory to God. Amen. Are we ready to give glory to God? Yes. Because this month, he said, we will walk into it with confidence and rejoicing. Amen. Confidence and rejoicing. Confidence in his promise, in his word to each of us. And we start rejoicing when we start trusting the word that he has given. When we accept, when we acknowledge, when we affirm the promises of God, it starts manifesting in our lives. Amen. And we go into a mode of rejoicing and thanksgiving. When you praise God, when you start worshipping God, when you confess who He is to you, all the loopholes that the devil has been trying to enter is shut off. The strongholds are broken down. The chains fall down. Amen. And that's what we are going to do in this month of July. That we will praise, worship, acknowledge the power of God. Acknowledge the name of the Lord. Name of the living God. I want to read these scriptures to you. 2 Kings chapter 3 and verse 17. For thus says the Lord, you shall not see the wind or rain, but this stream bed shall be filled with water so that you shall drink you and your livestock and your animals hallelujah we will not see any proof any signs but the lord says he will bring it to pass and those of them who believe that there will be a river there will be water in that stream bed saw the power of God. Amen. The Israelites saw a dry ground when the Lord spoke this. But just the next morning when they started praising, when they got ready to give their sacrifices, they saw that that dry ground was filled with water. To his children, they could see the water. But the enemies saw blood. What was water in the eyes of his children seemed like blood to the enemies of his children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next in Habakkuk 3 and 17 to 19. This is beautiful and this is where we stand. We have seen the word of God come to pass in our lives. The hand of the Lord was upon us in all these past days and years. Amen. Amen. If his hand was not upon us, we wouldn't be here. You and I wouldn't sit here to pronounce the name of the Lord if it was not for him. You agree with me? Amen. So Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 17 to 19 reads this. Though the fig tree should not blossom nor fruit be on the vines, the produce of the olive fail and fields yield no food. The flock be cut off from the fold and there be no herd in the stall. Yet, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in God of my salvation. God the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer's and he makes me tread on high places. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even if there's nothing with me, not a fill in my pocket, not a dirham in my bank account, no job, no house, no shelter, no food, don't know what I'm going to do next. There is something that we can do. We will rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Praise Him for what He can do for us. Not about what we have now, what we can see around us, but about what He will do and what He can do for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's just the faith. It's just the belief, the trust in the Lord and us to confess how great a God He is. If He could bring water into the dry land, He can do much more in your life. You have his spirit in you. You have his breath in you. What more would we need? Hallelujah. If we can start believing thus, we can rejoice. 
when we rejoice when we start praising god when we have nothing in our pocket and say thank you lord that you're going to fill it just that faith and trust that you carry to say thank you will move the father's heart when you praise him his heart melts he rejoices he's smiling over you you were created just for you to praise him nothing else he didn't expect anything from you he didn't think that you will build a house he didn't think that he will, you will come and do something big for him all that he wanted you to do was to praise him worship him accept accept this call in life accept this purpose in life to praise and worship when you start praising you will see heaven come down for you we are already seeing heaven upon us hallelujah if you have not experienced it just start praising say thank you lord i'm going to see breakthroughs in my life thank you lord that you will come down for me thank you lord that you are mindful of me thank you lord that you are going to answer my prayers you will give what i ask for amen and when you start praising you get confidence and with that confidence we will move and we are going to experience the greatness of god not just one or two not simple things but all inspiring and tremendous things are what god is going to do for us hallelujah shall we call july the month of confidence and rejoicing are we going to rejoice and praise god no matter what our situation is no matter how things are looking to us but we will rejoice we will praise and we will experience the goodness of god hallelujah glory